We have big news from Tesla Giga Berlin friends. Tesla Giga Berlin battery factory is apparently going to receive 10 figure funding that's 1 billion plus dollars german publication business insider found out from several government sources that tesla funding will be in a single digit billions of euros 1 billion plus that is the amount of funding will be 10 figures government circles say that brandenburg will have to contribute about a third of the funding welcome back dear friends this is armin haryan from torquenews.com if you are here for the first time please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news and ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next tesla story so philip taleta is reporting on business insider german edition saying battery factory in grunheide which is tesla giga berlin's battery factory is to be funded with billions in tax money is this good or bad? I'm going to leave it to you. The, some of the highlights are last week it became known that Tesla has successfully applied for the IPCEI funding program of the Federal Ministry of Economics. However, the funding amount was still open. We didn't know yet. Business Insider has learned from government circles that the funding should be worth billions of dollars. The IPCEI program was once created to create European champions in key technologies that could compete with Chinese and American competition. Now with Tesla, an American company is receiving a billion dollar premium. I think it's good in terms of competing with uh, 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 forward-looking technologies in order to change our transportation from gas and oil to electric vehicles. So here are some details that Business Insider reports saying the champagne corks probably popped in California last week. The Federal Ministry of Economics announced which companies have won public funding as part of the IPCEI program for battery cell production. One of the total of 11 companies is Tesla. Total of 11 companies, one of them is Tesla, and the battery cell factory in Grünheide is going to be funded. The Federal Ministry of Economics has so far left open how high the total funding amount for the U.S. company will be. Business Insider German Edition has now learned from several government sources that the funding for Tesla will be in the single-digit billions. In plain language, the German taxpayer will fund the factory of the U.S. car manufacturer with a nine-digit amount. How is this sum made up? Asks Business Insider and continues saying, are, are asking, are there clear parameters on which the funding amount is based? At the request of Business Insider, the Ministry of Economic Affairs announced, quote, the state, the state aid framework for important projects of common European interest <coughs> is based, I'm sorry, is based in principle of expenditure for research activities. Investments in scaling are only recognized under state aid law insofar as the scaling is a result of research and development activities and itself includes an important research and development component. A spokeswoman for for the ministry continued saying a general formula or similar for calculating the funding does not therefore exist end of the quote one thing is also clear says business insider the state of brandenburg will have to pay part of the funding the federal and state government share the costs here government circles say the brandenburg will have to contribute around a third of the funding I asked, I, as I said above, and our question is, if they're going, if this is going to be several billion dollars, how much is Tesla contributing? Is a battery factory that expensive, costing more than one billion dollar a single factory? What do you think? Maybe Tesla is providing the know-how and the experience. I don't know. So IPCEI program aims to make Europeans 
competitive with China and the USA. This is why public funding is going to companies like Tesla. It is remarkable that Tesla was awarded the IPCEI program at all, says Business Insider, saying the program, which runs across the European Union, was originally launched in 2014 with the aim of increasing European competitiveness. That was a quote, increasing European competitiveness, particularly in the area of key technologies. From the Ministry of Economic Affairs, it is said the federal government sees the in IPCEI an opportunity to counter the competition distorting activities of other regions of the world in the technology area. Obviously, electric vehicles and electric vehicle battery production is a key technology for Europe and of course for the world. I, uh, Fed Business Insider also reports that Federal Minister of Economics Peter Altmaier said last week visibly in a good mood. He was apparently in a good mood saying the second battery IPCEI coordinated by German, Germany clearly shows that the European battery value chain is becoming a reality. Company Germany and Europe will develop competitive, innovative, and environmentally friendly battery cells themselves. This triggers extensive private investments and creates new future-proof jobs. The aim of the program is a functioning European ecosystem for battery innovation and production, according to public statements by German and European authorities. In the background, government representatives become, became actually even more clearer with Business Insider. Of course, the IPCEI program is primarily um, intended to make German and European companies fit for competition with China and the United States, and at best to share uh, them uh, in, into so-called European champions. One does not want to be dependent on the two great powers for key technologies in the future. One of these key technologies are electric vehicle battery cells. Now, of all things, the largest competitor for the German and European car manufacturers is being awarded the funding. A company against which BMW, Volkswagen and Daimler should be prepared to um, compete even more. It is true that Tesla will create up to 40,000 40, jobs in Grünheide with the battery factory and uh, with, uh, uh, with the car plant. I think the battery factory is right now is planning to hire only 1,000 people, as I reported earlier. Um, and that even without including the new jobs in the associate supplier industry that are going to supply. So the Tesla is going to bring a lot of jobs to the area. The factory can revive the structurally weak region in East Germany and in fact the creation of new jobs is also one of the goals of the IPCEI program. Much more important however is the aforementioned European ecosystem that is to be created and the know-how about the most powerful battery cells. Tesla has already proven one thing with flying colors in the past. This company neither shares its charging networks nor its know-how with the competition and has been successful. Tesla has been successful with these concepts to this day so far. So there is no indication that Tesla has any interest in becoming part of the European ecosystem for battery cells. So I don't know how these things are going to work, but this is going to be very interesting. Now we learn that Tesla's battery factory in Grünheide in or next to um, Giga Berlin is going to receive huge funding, a billion plus dollars to build the world's largest battery factory. And this is going to be an interesting development for Tesla, for Giga Berlin and for the European uh, key technology ecosystem. Um, we know that Tesla Giga Berlin is expected to start working already June, July 2021. And we expect the first Model Y electric crossovers from Tesla to roll 
roll off the assembly line by that time and um, uh, soon maybe by the end of the year or uh, early next year we will see the battery factory producing the batteries we still don't know whether this battery factory is going to be inside giga berlin premises or outside nearby where right before christmas tesla acquired a huge warehouse which is the three sizes of uh, soccer fields like three soccer fields that size maybe that's where tesla plans to build the electric uh, battery factory i don't know we'll learn soon as more paperwork is available in government uh, websites this is armin harian friends from testtalknews.com reporting news uh, based on business insiders report german edition please subscribe to our channel join our community and ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next tesla or ev story have a wonderful rest of the day god bless you everyone and i'll see you soon soon.